guys, Miss Zimmerman here. Welcome to the Micro Ecosystem Observation Project. Um, this is a activity where you go are going to observe, model, and evaluate like a scientist. So here's some directions for you. Um, you first of all, you're going to go outside and you're going to look for an area that you think would be good for observation. So try to find something that's got a lot of living and non-living things in it, maybe around plants or somewhere that's got a lot of bugs or just look for something that you see a lot of, um, that you might think have a lot of activity that you can look at or something that you're interested in. You're going to mark off that area because you're going to be looking at it for multiple days. So later in the video, you'll see some ideas on how you can mark off an area for observation. Once you have that marked off, you're going to be looking at that mini micro or that micro ecosystem and micro means really small. So you're just getting a small area and you're going to be looking for living things and non-living things. So such as plants and animals for living things, you're going to be paying attention to the soil, if there's any water in the area and also the weather because that's a part of an ecosystem as well. You are going to be using um, a scientific journal, and you can just use paper or a notebook for this, and you're going to be taking notes and sketching what you observe. I'll go over that in just a second. Finally, after you've finished evaluating, um, I'm sorry, after you've finished recording your observations for those five different times, I want you to take a look at those and see if there's any patterns that you see or if you can see how the living and the non-living things work together within an ecosystem that help them be successful and thrive where they're at. Alright, so our scientific journal entry. So get a piece of paper or notebook and you want to record your date and time so for each observation, and I want you to do this between three and five times over the course of a week. Um, you're going to write down what the weather's like. I had just circled something here, but you can just write it down or you can write them all down and circle what you see. But if it's sunny, you want to, want, you want to put sunny. And if the temperature's warm, put down warm. If you know the exact temperature, that would be even better if you looked up the temperature for that day. So what is the weather like? Make sure you re record that and then make a scientific sketch of what you're seeing. Okay, so you have a visual representation of everything that you see for each of these observations. Finally, you're going to list five things that you see. So you want to label them out. So what are you seeing? Feel free to write down notes as well in your journal entry, like any thoughts you have. Um, so stay tuned. I'm going to show you some ways that you can mark off your ecosystems coming up next. Hey, Castle Kids. Are you ready for the micro ecosystem challenge? I'm going to take you around my yard a little bit and show you a few different ways that you can set up your micro uh, ecosystem for observation. <music> Another option might be something you already have. Like I have this barrel that's perfect for observing every single day. I know I'm going to be looking and observing the entire area. I'll be looking very, very closely at all of the living and non-living things and drawing what I see. If I get down there super close, I might even see some little bugs or something. So make sure you're looking for that. Oh, I see some scat. I think that means there must have been a bigger animal coming through my ecosystem. <laughs> so here's another example of how you can make your um, micro ecosystem. I just took a few uh, pencils, or I didn't have pencils, so I took a pen, and I used this kind of like a little stake, putting it into the ground. And then I use my tape to tape around the edges. That way, when you come back, you're going to be looking and observing the exact same area as before. Here's another possibility. So this one is some PVC pipe that um, I had that I put together and that will be there for the entire time of my observation so I know exactly where to look and what to look for in changes. Thank you.